Welcome back to my channel. It's Thursday today and I'm gonna do another day in the life because these are kind of like fortnightly thing on my channel now but you guys seem to always enjoy them which I always find surprising because to me they seem really boring. The weather is actually awful today it's just raining non-stop and it's been pretty rubbish the past few days and it's not really supposed to get better until a couple weeks time and it's just typical isn't it as soon as lockdown measures are slightly eased it chucks it down outside and it really restricts what you can do because i was really enjoying going on like socially distanced picnics with my friends seeing as that's like the only thing you can do and now you can't do that so basically rules out anything you can do with your friends which is annoying but we're gonna try and make the most of the day anyway Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Goodwall. So Goodwall is a free social networking app that you can download on both Android and Apple and it basically allows you to connect with other students and find opportunities. So I'll just quickly talk you through how the app works. So firstly you've got your profile and this is where you can log all of your work experience, jobs that you've had, your education, so your qualifications, skills and achievements, basically anything that makes you stand out to employers and you can view all of this on the website as well. So once you have created your profile, your feed is then tailored to your interests and here is where you can see what other people are up to, what other students are achieving and just get some inspiration and motivation. Then on the opportunities tab, this is where you can find hand-picked jobs and scholarships and internships and Goodwall has actually recently added lots of remote opportunities as well so this is challenges and internships that you can get involved in at home and then finally you can discuss all of this with students from all around the world in the group so I am part of the business group and this is just a great way for you to meet other students with similar interests so I'd really really recommend that you guys check this app out it's a great way to connect with like-minded students and also a great way to get involved in opportunities and challenges that are going to make you stand out to employers so I'll have a link down below in the description where you can download the app in two days time as well so on monday the 22nd i'm also going to be hosting a live q a on my goodwall profile so make sure you've downloaded the app so you can ask me any questions that you've got and just connect with each other on goodwall because not going to lie my profile right now is looking pretty lonely <laughs> I've just had a bit of breakfast I just had a banana and some strawberries and made myself a coffee I hope you all enjoyed that little like milk clip because I'm getting a few comments saying that my coffees are too full I don't think you can have a too full coffee personally so I hope you enjoyed that clip where I'm not gonna lie it was spilling over the edge um but this morning while I was doing a workout and also while I was having a shower as you can see I was uploading my video for Saturday so it's my health and fitness video journey thing 
it would have gone up already last Saturday, so a week ago, so make sure to watch it if you haven't already. I actually really liked doing it. I'm a bit nervous for people to actually watch it because I've never done a video all about health and fitness on my channel, so I'm gonna be interested to see how it goes down, but we'll know that by the time this video goes up. That has been uploading this morning and it's just finished. I did try to upload it last night, but for some reason it just got stuck on processing and basically just failed, so I've had to do it again this morning and now I just need to do the description box, the tags and just like the fiddly bits and bobs and then this afternoon I'm going to make a thumbnail as well so I think I'll actually talk you through the process of how I make my thumbnails just as an interesting addition to this vlog. <laughs> just had a very exciting delivery through the door from Waterstones. I ordered four books the other day and this is the first one to be delivered because I think this was the only one that was in stock but it is What a Time to Be Alone by Chidera and she's also called The Slum Flower. You might know her from Instagram or Twitter. She's one of my favourite kind of feminist activist accounts. I literally love her so much so if you don't follow her already make sure that you do because she is amazing and this is one of two of her books so I think she's got another book that is called How to Get Over a Boy something like that but I thought I would start with this one quite fitting <laughs> seeing as I'm going through a breakup but yeah it is a guide to why you are already enough and I've had a flick through and look how gorgeous this book is like it's so visually appealing and colourful and I'm just very very excited to read this so I'll let you know what I think in a video sometime soon. The other three books that I ordered were Natives by Akala, Me and White Supremacy by Leila Saad, and then Florence Given's new book that's actually been released today, I think, which is Women Don't Know You Pretty. So I'm very excited to read those ones too. I'm gonna head downstairs and make myself some lunch now though because it's already half past one. I'm not entirely sure where today is going but it seems to be going somewhere <laughs> quite fast so I'm gonna make my typical avocado and fried eggs on toast. I'm sure you could have all seen that coming because I literally don't eat anything else for lunch unless we don't have those things in the fridge but... <laughs> suddenly looks my hay fever has decided to start playing up and now my eye is really irritated but anyway it's currently half past three so once again not sure where the afternoon is going but I had lunch pretty late it was like past two once I'd finished eating and I've just finished doing the technical bits and bobs for my video I had to watch the whole thing through and make a note of timestamps for the description because as usual I've waffled on for 20 minutes in that video so just so people can like skip to a particular part that interests them I've put timestamps in the description but I thought I'd talk you through quickly how I am gonna make the thumbnail for that video now. So the first thing that I do is I take a screenshot from the video that I have filmed on my laptop and this is normally not from the actual video. I do like a little clip afterwards where I just sit and post <laughs> which looks really awkward so I'm not going to show you the full video but yeah I just take a screenshot from the video that I'm happy with and then I airdrop it over to my iPad which is what I make my thumbnails on and I import it into Facetune so what I do on Facetune is I just use it to crop these black borders out, make the background blurry and adjust the brightness and contrast a bit. That's all I do on Facetune. I don't use it to actually Facetune my face or anything like that. So I do the next bit in different orders. Sometimes I add photos or any overlays on first and then text and sometimes I add text first and then overlays but I'm actually going to go ahead and add the title first. So 
I do this use is a really really good app and this is just what I use to add any text onto my thumbnail and then adjust the font and shadows and everything like that. And then finally I'm going to use Pixar to add some extra photos onto the thumbnail so this obviously varies depending on the video that the thumbnail is for but oh excuse all my selfies. So I basically use Pixar to put a shadow underneath these photos. If you look at the difference between that and that that stands out a lot more on the thumbnail. So that is basically how I would normally make my thumbnails. However, I've just decided to do something slightly different with this thumbnail just because you couldn't really see my body in the last thumbnail, like the pictures were quite small. So instead I've sort of like overlaid them underneath the main picture and I'm now gonna do an outline around me so I stand out a bit more and then do the same font as I did previously. But yeah, this isn't something I'd normally do, hence why I was debating even showing you. But I think for this particular thumbnail, it works slightly better. So this is now the finished thumbnail. I think it looks so much better this way. So I just did the outline on Procreate and then the text on Fonto again. Hope you enjoyed this little segment of the video. Apologies if you found it really boring and you don't care, but... I just thought it would be interesting to explain because it's something that I've never spoken through before. So something that I want to do in these lockdown vlogs and daily vlogs is have a little segment where I talk about what I'm reading and learning and listening to regarding Black Lives Matter because as I said in my video to do with Black Lives Matter, I think it's so important that we continue this conversation and we don't just let it be a one week trend on social media and then forget about it. So the first thing I want to talk about is this book and I mentioned this in my last daily vlog and it is Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge and in my last video I think I was about halfway through but I've actually now finished it. I finished it a while ago now and I've actually done a whole video on the StudyTube project channel talking about it so if you want to know more in detail about this book then I speak for about 10 minutes in that video about it but I absolutely love this. I couldn't recommend it enough. It was a great place for me personally to start educating myself because it's got a fab chapter about the racial history of Britain and I didn't know a lot about the race relations of Britain um, and its history before all of this happened. So this has been so good. And it's also got great chapters on intersectionality. So in terms of race and gender, race and class, I learned a lot from this book. And I've also been listening to Rennie's podcast, which is called About Race. You can just listen to it on Spotify. I'm on the last episode of it now. There was nine episodes in total. And she speaks about things that go hand in hand with this book. And she also interviews lots of guests on there as well. So black activists, entertainers, musicians, other writers. And it's just so interesting. And I've I've learned a lot from that too. There was a particular great episode about culture I think and how race and cultural things such as entertainment and what we watch on TV are very much interlinked. Then on Netflix as well I have recently watched When They See Us which is about the Central Park Five and the Jogger case and that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever watched. It was so emotional and hard hitting but I think such a great way of really seeing the realities of racism in today's society for black people particularly in America I'm not saying Britain's innocent obviously but this was an American case and then along the same lines I watched 13th which is a documentary on Netflix which is basically about mass incarceration in the US and the prison system and this was so interesting because 
I had no idea that prisons are basically like businesses, which mean, I mean, it makes sense now, but I didn't ever realize that before watching the documentary. And then currently I am watching Dear White People, which is a Netflix series. It's got three seasons and I'm actually on the last episode of season two already. I've really been binging it. This series is slightly more lighthearted than When They See Us and 13th. It's not really a documentary. It's more of a fictional story, but it still deals with issues surrounding race and racism. So it's still a great thing to watch, but it's got a really good storyline as well. And it's just a nice thing to binge. So yeah, that is what I have been reading and listening to and watching recently. I hope this little clip was useful. Um, if you're looking for any recommendations and feel free to give me some recommendations too. Let me know what you've been learning and watching and everything like that. It is now half past nine. I have spent the entire evening watching dear white people obviously i had dinner as well i just had like pakoras and vegetables and stuff and haven't been out the house all day today which is unusual for me because i normally try and go on a walk a day but it has been raining non-stop today and i didn't really fancy going on a walk in the rain so going a bit stir crazy i'm not gonna lie i hope tomorrow's weather is slightly better so i can finally go outside but yeah i'm gonna end this video here so i hope you've enjoyed this little day in the life and if you have then make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also follow my social media which will be linked down below in the description bye guys